A bloodshed continues in Western Sudan as the main hospital in Al Fashir city was shuttered. This followed by an attack by the paramilitary rapid support forces that put the hospital out of commission. This was confirmed by the MSF, which supports the facility. The Al Fashir city is located in the Darfur region of northwestern Sudan and is home to about 1.8 million Sudanese, many of whom have been reduced to refugees now. According to the United Nations, around 130,000 people have left their homes in Al Fashir by last month. This as the fallout in Sudan continues to worsen from the long-drawn conflict between the Sudanese army and the rapid support forces. UN agencies have also cautioned that the Sudanese are at the imminent risk of a famine. The latest report says that the rapid support forces are showing no signs of slowing down and are locking to advance deep into the capital city of central Khartoum. According to data from the MSF, Al Fashir South Hospital is the only facility large enough to handle mass casualty events on a daily basis. The organization has revealed that between May 10th to June 6th, 1,300 people were brought to the hospital injured. In the same period, the number of reported deaths at the facility stood at 208. The hospital began evacuations on three separate occasions from 25th of May, those who were unable to evacuate to a safer premise have now fled in the wake of the RSF's onslaught. It's also been reported by the Al Fashir emergency responders that medicine and ambulance have been looted. Evacuation from all of the Al Fashir residents is also proving to be dangerous as residents continue to be attacked. Many have also been killed on territory under the control of the rapid support forces.